Hello there and welcome to Clenum Spot. So without any waste of time, let's just start with our ingredients for our brisket of which are cheese, balsamic vinegar, some basil, about five medium-sized Roma tomatoes, olive oil, one full baguette bread, garlic, salt, and some white pepper which is optional so we're gonna kick off by chopping our tomatoes into small tiny cubes so the reason why i used this type of tomatoes which is the roma tomatoes is because it's very pulpy and sweet so when chopping remember to take the seed out of at least three or four tomatoes because otherwise we would obtain a very sloppy result and we don't want that we want our um, um, we want a very um, juicy and moist result. So as you can see, those are the seeds. So now our next step is going to be to chop our garlic. And this time we are going for a tiny and fine chop because we want to, we want to taste all the glory of the garlic, but we don't want it all over in our mouth. So after chopping the garlic, this is more or less the result that I'm going to, I'm going to get. And at this point, I'm going to take about this amount of the chopped garlic and I'm going to add this to two tablespoons of olive oil, stir and just leave it aside and I'll tell you what you're going to need this for in a moment. So now um, it's time to chop our basil and this is going to be a very quick chop. You're not going for a fine result like we did with the garlic. And after all we have to do is to mix everything together. So as you can see, there are no liquids um, formed under my tomatoes because as I said, I took the seed off. And at this point, it's just time for seasoning. So two, two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar and two tablespoons of olive oil, as you can see in the video. And then I'm going to add some salt to taste depending on your preference. And I am also going to add some white pepper. You can add black pepper if you prefer. And this is because it gives it a very distinctive um, taste. So I'm just going to stir these and then leave it um, there for, you know, the ingredient to familiarize with each other. So now it's time for our baguette. So I'm going to take one whole baguette and I'm going to slice this as you can see. And this is more or less the um, how it's supposed to be sliced so i went for a diagonal slice for presentation purpose but the most important thing is that it's not too um, thinly sliced so i'm going to put this on a tray ready to be put in the oven and remember the oil that i um, added to the, the chopped garlic i'm going to brush this all over the bread on both sides so this is the first side and now i'm going to just flip it over and then brush um, the other side too so this is going to be like flavor on flavor which is a yes yes in this situation so after I'm going to add um, cheese on some of them not all of them because you know not everybody loves cheese and I like having both alternatives so after 10 to 12 minutes in the oven this brown gold result is what you're going to get so as you can see the ones with the um, cheese have melted the cheese and the ones without that i flipped after five minutes of them being in the oven um are now crunchy but not too hard as you can see and so now it's ready and all we have to do is to just place our mixed tomatoes on top of it so a very important ingredient that is going to make a big difference with your bruschetta is going to be the glaze of balsamic vinegar this is magic this is life-changing and it balances you know the very characteristic taste of the garlic and the white pepper and it gives it that restaurant level result so i'm ready to eat so i just want to say thanks for watching and if you liked what you saw do not forget to subscribe like and share my videos bye bye